This over here is the backdrop that I use when I shoot studio photography here at home and right now um, the cloth is just very greased up and my problem with this in post is that when I go ahead and edit the photos after the shoot I have to remove all of these wrinkles out and it can get annoying when you're editing like a batch of 200 plus photos and you have to clean up most of them it's very very time consuming so yeah that is bad however you know what else looks bad my old photos going back looking at my old photography like back when i was starting out i will definitely say that those are not in any way my best works also there are dogs barking over there if you can hear them i don't know if you can but i'm pretty sure you could just don't mind them so let's take a look back at my photos back in 2018 and we're gonna judge them critique them and try to edit some of them if ever. Before we get started, I'm going to iron out this black backdrop which I use for my studio photography. And yeah, we're gonna see you guys in a bit. Okay, I just want to say that I am super, super dumb. Like, I filmed this entire segment and just realized that my lapel is off. So you have no audio, no way of hearing me. And like, I filmed an entire five minute sequence without any, oh my gosh, audio. Like, Albert, incompetence. Albert, incompetence level. Like, it goes up here sometimes. Anyways, this is the black backdrop which I just recently ironed. I used this for my studio shoots and I want to use it for video. However, it's not feasible for me right now because I don't have a proper studio stand. I don't have a proper background stand and I'm practically hanging this off of a storage box over here and a cabinet over here. The reason why I don't want to film here is number one, it is very noisy since this is an open room. I can practically hear anything coming out from the windows, coming out from this side where the radiators for the air cons are, which is very noisy. And if I stop talking, you can actually hear it, plus a dog barking. See, it's so annoying. I can't turn on the fans when I'm shooting a video because obviously it's gonna get into the recording and I'm dying right now. So I'm not gonna be filming the rest of the video here. We're gonna talk about the bad photos I took two years ago. It's just so crazy that it's been two years since I've been taking photos. Let's head over to our bedroom right now and let's get on with the rest of this video. For context, this is the room that we have been shooting in. This is my backdrop, which is hanging by a curtain pole and a storage box and a um, cabinet. So yeah, um, anyways, let's get out of this room and get on with the rest of the video. And we are back at our bedroom and this is way better. It's not as hot as outside. You can hear the sound of the AC, but again, I'm going to be removing all of that stuff in post. Now today, we are going to be looking over at my old photos back in 2018 Hala when I was still starting out as a photographer and we're going to look just how bad I was at being a photographer back then. Huh. But yeah, we're not going to go through all of my photos back then. We're just going to look at like a couple albums, look at a couple of photos and let's see how bad I was before. Because like legit looking back at those photos, I'm like, what the freak were you doing, Albert? Do you even know how to use a camera so yeah these are some photos that i took back when i was starting out these were over at bgc let's take a look at some of these old photos and yeah these were practically the days when i didn't know how to properly color grade now i there's like a dog outside barking and like it's seriously ruining my mojo right now looking at these photos they were very very green it's not properly color corrected i'm pretty sure i didn't I'm pretty sure each photo here has a different setting and it's like 
Albert, what are you doing? Like, look at this. Th this one, this photo, it's like super generic photo of a girl holding a flower. And like, there's even people outside walking down the street. And like, that's so unprofessional. And also, I didn't remove her pimples, which was, eh, I wasn't that great at editing it. I didn't know how to read such photos back then. As for my next one, like, I don't know what I, I don't know my thought process was when taking these photos. All I know was I was walking down the street, finding like, pro finding like weird new angles. Cause like legit, I had zero experience at taking photos of people. I think this focus is okay. Back then, I didn't use autofocus at all. All of my photos were manually focused because I had friends who told me that manual focus is the way to go, which is not. And you guys should start using your autofocuses. Even in video, like legit, like cameras has gone so far ahead and autofocus has gone so far ahead. Not with the camera I'm using, I'm using a 650D. It has super old technology, but if you have a somewhat newer camera with like dual pixel autofocus, then by all means, go for autofocus. Now for this one, the shadows are very, very distinct. It's very, very hard. The edges are quite sharp. And the reason for this is we shot at like mid afternoon, which is as much as possible. Don't shoot at mid afternoon. If you do, find a place with great shade, find a way to reflect the light and make the shadows look a little bit nicer on the face. Because again, you're taking photos of people and you want them to look as nice as possible. Okay, so this photo like this is a guy who messaged me up. I posted an ad online saying that I would do photos for like five, six dollars. I think it was seven dollars when I did this or like 350 pesos. And I, yeah, this was the first guy that I actually shot and I posted the photos previously that I shown you online just to look for clients and I told him that I'm a photographer and I'll take you portraits when in BGs or whatever. I didn't know what I was thinking when I did this. I, no, I remember when I took this photo, I was thinking that I'm gonna shoot him from down up because it was gonna it's gonna make him look more powerful and there's a building over there and I was like yeah let's go for that the position is a little bit off I think my focus is a tad off as well here but yeah here is another photo it's very green and I what I thought here was like I'm gonna use some leading lines and use those leading lines to like bring the bring the photo to the guy but like looking at this back it just looked like there's a weird line that's like there's no reason for it to be there other than give me a reason to make it look like that i was actually doing proper composition now for the next one it's just like this guy like walking down the street the boat road i don't know what i think of doing this like as you can see the grading is different from the previous one because again i graded each photo individually which is very very stupid i like the grading here a little bit i think his face is a little bit too magenta but yeah um i think it's a little bit too no i think i think the white balance is just a tad bit off but it i think it's okay um as for composition i think it's a little bit too propped in like i should have i could have stepped back a little bit here and this one is it, this one is too overexposed and there's a little child behind him which is, why did you even send this to him? This is bad, this is just bad. This one, again, trying weird angles, shadows in the face are very bad. Highlights is not blown out at the very least. I'm pretty sure I like toned down all of the highlights in all of my photos back then, which is in hindsight right now, not best practice. Otherwise, color, matte, color curve is very off, angle is very off. Um, I'm not tracking the Dutch angle here and he's, uh, his eyes are looking half asleep and it's not even in focus, which is... Uh, I like this photo, but it's a bit off. I can see a fire hydrant in the reflection of the glasses. What I, and also it's not focused well because I wasn't using autofocus and I was shooting this at 1.8. Never, like, don't shoot your 50 primes, your nifty 50s on 1.8. You'll get the best sharpness in 2.8. Now these photos, these photos are like special, but they're bad. They're bad, but they're special. This was my first actual gig, which actually paid me a little bit higher, but like not, I don't think my, th these photos were worth the payment they give me. Look at these, like it's out of focus. There's no context. It's super bad. This was a children's birthday party album and like legit, it looks so awful. Like, or it's not even focused right. I could have done way better. I promise I could have done way better if I just took the time to study my fundamentals and like stone them down before I actually started doing client jobs. Which is why when you're gonna enter client jobs, make sure that your photos are actually good because you're not gonna get clients back if your photos suck. 
I'm roasting myself so much right now and like there's photos of food and stuff like that. Yeah, I didn't like the set. I really didn't like this set. This was a set over like at December. This was the debut of my classmate, Christine. Now for this one, like this shadows were super bad. This, I turned this into black and white cause like, I don't know. I think it's cause it was a group photo and I shot it so bad. Lighting was so awful. Like there were colors were just all over the place and the focus was just all over the place. And I tried to save it with black and white. I mean, that's a step that you can take. But since this is the only black and white photo in my whole set, it's kind of a black sheep. Don't use the Nifty 50 at 1.8 if you're gonna shoot group photos. You're not gonna get the people in the back. Now back then, I would just like randomly shoot people just so that I can get every photo of every person in the event. I could have gotten a better photo of this guy. He, there, there's so much missed potential here because I didn't take my time and they just took the photo without even thinking about it. Same with this girl. And like you can see my impatience. I just took photos and photos. I just got a lot of stolen shots which were very bad like Never put this, never put photos like this in an album for a debutant. Like, they're not gonna want to see that. They're just gonna want to see those pretty memories, those wonderful moments that she's experienced during that day. But like having photos like this, trust me, it's not, it's not worth it. The shot would have been okay. The person has a lot of rich details. By the way, I started using flash here now, like on camera flash. I didn't use like an, different flashes. I didn't have the budget for an actual flash. There's a lot of missed potentials because I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just running around gunning it and like hoping that I'll get shots in my camera when I move them to the computer that is actually gonna look nice. And that's not really the best way to do it. You have to make sure that each photo is intentional. Take that extra five seconds to get that proper photo, especially during events because if you miss the moment, you're not getting it back. Just take an extra second to look at what you're taking a photo of and make sure that everything is looking as good as it can be. If you feel like that's the best you could have done in camera, then leave it in post. But like, if you can do a lot more in camera, do it in camera. Cause it's gonna save you a lot of time and it's gonna save you from a lot of trash images. And there you have it guys. Um, those were like old photos back in 2018 that were pretty, pretty bad, but like, we learn from them. We learn from our bad experiences. We learn from the stuff that we've experienced in the past. As we learn from those experiences, we grow to become better in our craft, to become a better photographer, to become a better artist. And I hope that you guys um, learned something from this video. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over at YouTube if you're watching on Facebook right now. Because like legit, I'm gonna do my best to upload a video every week. With that, just comment down below and tell me guys what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video and hopefully be part of your future shoots. Again, my name is Albert Jared Ebay and yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna cut it here.